Pauli exclusion principle. This principle was given by Wolfgang Pauli. According to this, no two electrons in an atom can have an identical set of all the four quantum numbers. It is because of the principle we have read that an orbital cannot accommodate more than two electrons and these two must be of opposite spin represented by two opposite arrows in a box. Thus for n equal to 1, L is equal to 0, M is also equal to 0, but Ms will have two values, plus half and minus half. So, 1s subshell and orbital can have at the most two electrons in it with the set of quantum numbers as 1, 0, 0 plus half and 1, 0, 0 minus half. Thus, with the help of quantum numbers and Pauli exclusion principle, we are justifying the 2n square rule which gives the maximum number of electrons a shell can accommodate. Thus for n equal to 2 there can be maximum 2 into 2 square that is equal to 8 electrons in it. With the help of quantum numbers also we see that for n equal to 2 L will have two values 0 and 1 m will be 0 corresponding to 0 and 3 values minus 1, 0, plus 1 corresponding to l equal to 1 and then ms each magnetic quantum number will have 2 values of it plus half minus half each half represents an electron so we find that there can be maximum 8 electrons in the second orbit now we come to a very very important article that is how to draw electronic configurations of elements in terms of S, P, D, F subshells. For this purpose the principle used is called Aufbau principle. Aufbau is a German word meaning to build, that is, to build the electronic configurations here. The Aufbau principle itself consists of the following three rules. Number one, N plus L rule. Second, Hunt's rule. Third, Pauli exclusion principle. This we have already learned. So let us now learn n plus l rule. According to n plus l rule, number one, relative energy of a subshell is given by its n plus l where n and l are its principal and azimuthal quantum numbers respectively. Therefore, for the subshell 1s, n plus l is equal to 1 plus 0 that is equal to 1. For 2s it is 2 plus 0 that is equal to 2. For 2p it is 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3. For 3s it is 3 plus 0 that 2 is equal to 3 and so on. Thus n plus l gives us the energy order of various subshells and that becomes the order of filling of various subshells. Hence, the energy order is 1s less than 2s less than 2p. But we see that 2p and 3s both have the same value of n plus l. In such a case, the rule is number 2. If two or more subshells 
have the same value of n plus l, then that subshell is considered to be of lower energy whose n value is lower. Hence, 2p is less than 3s. Similarly, 3p is lower than 4s, etc. On the basis of n plus l rules, now we give the proper order of filling of various subshells. This is as shown in the following figure. According to this figure, various subshells will be filled in the following order. 1s, less than 2s, less than 2p, less than 3s, less than 3p, less than 4s, less than 3d, less than 4p, less than 5s and so on. But there may be some exceptions also depending on some grounds as we shall see them later on. Also, do not forget that on the basis of quantum numbers, we have already ruled out the existence of subshells 1p, 1d, 1f, 2d, 2f and 3f. That's why these do not appear in the above figure. The capacities of subshells are S equal to 2, P equal to 6, D equal to 10 and F equal to 14 electrons. So let us now start drawing electronic configurations. So our first element is hydrogen with atomic number 1. Its configuration is 1s1. Next element is helium, atomic number 2, and the configuration becomes 1s2. Then comes lithium, z equal to 3, with configuration 1s2, 2s1. Then comes beryllium, z equal to 4, 1s2, 2s2. Then boron, z equal to 5. With the configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Or we may write it as 1s2, 2s2, p1. We shall adopt this pattern that is to write all subshells belonging to same shell together. Therefore, for carbon z equal to 6, the configuration becomes 1s2, 2s2, p2. 